Hey guys, uh, this is Inks here, and this is a video that I'm going to use to let you guys know a little bit about uh, the Brutal campaign and uh, the armory and the laboratory upgrades, uh, which I picked uh, when playing through. Now I know there are a bunch of threads about uh, how which uh, text to pick and which upgrades to pick. And I thought that the best uh, way to do that, to let you guys know, is instead of typing out a huge essay, is to just talk about it in a video. So this is going to be a uh, probably a two-part video uh, because I'm going to go a little bit into uh, the the text that I picked and why I picked them. So uh, without further ado, let's start with the armory. So in the armory. Um, the way that I played through the campaign was basically uh, a big bio ball and that consisted of just medics and marines. Um, the medics in single player are incredibly powerful. Um, as soon as you get them in the second mission you're gonna wanna be building them uh, at least you know five or six per ball. That's five or six per control group. Uh, you can probably get away with less but I found that uh, these medics are just so so good, way better than medevacs, and uh, they're so cheap to make too. Uh, 75 minerals and 50 gas, so uh, a really really good unit. And if you're going to be building a lot of medics, you're going to want to upgrade them. Now you can get both if you want. As you can see here, I still have um, 785,000 credits available. Uh, now this load is just before char, so. I I think I only bought like one upgrade in char, uh, so my money went down to like seven hundred thousand. But you definitely have a little wiggle room if you need. Uh, so first one is the medic. Uh, the medic is a really important upgrade, and you really want to get the stabilizer med pack because it basically uh, makes them, as you can see here heal units 25% faster and they use 33% less energy per heal. It's really 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 good and you really need this upgrade so get it. This one uh, not necessary. Uh, I found that I just built another barracks and dropped a tech lab if I needed to build medics. So you can do that all the way until you get the tech reactor in the Protoss, in the Protoss um, research tree. So you don't really need to get this. You can if you want. Uh, as you can see here, I have a lot of credits left, so you can afford this. It's only 60,000. Uh, the Marine, you want to get both of these, obviously. Uh, these are, if you know anything about StarCraft, you know that these are pretty much the best upgrades for the Marine. The only and the best, so get both of them. Uh, the rest of the bio units, I actually didn't buy anything. Um, on one of my playthroughs earlier on hard mode, to get all the achievements, I actually played with the fire bat a little bit, but I, you know, I didn't find the fire bats that useful. They are close proximity melee um, units, and I just found that whenever I had them in my bio ball, they they kind of got stuck in the middle, and before they made it out, they like everything was dead already. So I didn't use these guys really, so I didn't buy any upgrades. Marauders, I didn't use them any either. Um, if you're gonna use Marauders, I would definitely recommend the Concussive Shells. Uh, you can get the Kinetic Foam too if you want, plus 25 life. It is pretty good, but it's probably not mandatory either. Reapers, yeah, don't forget about it. Um, in the base menu, um, first thing that comes to mind definitely is the Planetary Fortress. Er, <laughs> Planetary Fortress, sorry, the Orbital Command. Um, the Orbital Command lets you drop mules which harvest minerals really fast and also give you scan. Scan is not that useful in, in a campaign but the mule definitely is so I definitely recommend getting this. Uh, this upgrade here, fire suppression system, is also really really good and um, I, as you can see here I don't actually have it here but I do buy it in char because I used it in the last mission in uh, all in. So definitely handy. Um, SCVs, uh, you have to get this, Dual Fusion Welders. This is a really amazing upgrade and you want it. Just trust me, just get this. It's, it's really, really, really good. Uh, this one here, Advanced Construction, I didn't find this useful at all. I rarely pull uh, SCVs off the mineral line to build something really fast. Like, you're never really in a hurry, so 
this isn't really that good. I didn't buy any missile turret upgrades. I didn't use missile turrets at all. I think I built like five throughout the campaign. So these upgrades are not that handy in my opinion. Unless maybe you're doing the um, the all-in uh, air version. Then maybe you get both of these. For bunker, I've got both of these. Uh, get this one first. It's really, really good. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this if this upgrade comes stock in multiplayer, um, but here you have to buy it as an upgrade. I know that when you put units in a bunker in multiplayer, you automatically get plus one range, but here uh, you might have to buy this. I, I'm not exactly sure. If, if this is plus one on top of the plus one that you already get, then this is pretty good. Uh, Neo Steel, Steel Bunker, I got this too, but I got this later on. Um, it's not really, uh, it's not really that you know imperative that you get it. Uh, you could probably get away without it, but uh, when you build a bunker, you want to hold a position. And if you can load a bunch of marines into that bunker, you're going to find that this is pretty good, especially with some of the other upgrades for the marines. Now uh, let's see here onto uh, vehicles. I didn't use any of these uh, four first ones. I did use the siege tank. Um, you want to get both of these upgrades. They're really, really, really handy. Uh, Maelstrom rounds plus 40 damage to primary target. That's 90 damage to a target. Um, the tanks do attack pretty slow, but they do so much damage that this is this uh, upgrade is just really handy. Uh, 90 damage to a target. Shaped blasts. Uh, this upgrade actually makes it so that the units that take splash damage from uh, your siege tanks only uh, take 75% less of that damage. So let's say the siege tank uh, hits you for 50 damage, 50 splash damage, because that's how much it hits for. Uh, minus 75% of that would be, I don't know, like a lot. So basically you'd be taking single digit uh, single digit or, or double low double digit d uh, damage if you got the shaped blast. I don't know you guys can do the math for me I'm having a brain fart. So uh, get both of these upgrades I wouldn't bother with any of these unless you're going you know specifically with that unit for some reason I chose to not use any of these. I use the Diamondback on the Diamondback mission. I use the Goliath on the Goliath mission and I used the Vulture on the Vulture mission. Uh, I didn't even use Hellions on the Hellion mission. The Hellion, I... yeah, it wasn't that good. Uh, starships? I would recommend uh, that you get the Shockwave Missile Battery for the Banshee. It's really good if you plan to use Banshees. Unfortunately, this upgrade would have been amazing on the mission where you get the Banshee, but you don't get this upgrade until you complete the mission. Uh, which is supernova, so that that's kind of unfortunate. Or even the cross spectrum dampener, which I got both of these because I thought that I'm going to be using banshees in all in, but I wasn't. So uh, this is this kind of these upgrades weren't very handy. Uh, I didn't use them much. You can use them on the uh, the platform level just before all in. If you plan to kill the air platforms, then these might come in handy as well. Um, but by that time, you already have battle cruisers too. And what I did was on that mission, I just used a battle cruiser. I popped the defensive matrix, flew in, uh, Yamato the uh, the reactor, the energy reactor, and the platform blew up. I just flew off. So that's what I did. I didn't really use banshees at all, except for like the first platform. Uh, other v other uh, starships, not really that good. Um, the medevacs are pretty decent. I would get this advanced healing AI. I wouldn't worry about the rapid deployment tube. Um, I'll tell you guys about that later. But if you're going to get the medevacs and if you want to use the medevacs, then go ahead and get this because it's really good. Um, but I found that I was just using medics more than I was using medevacs. The mission that you get the medevac... I actually had the Hercules already, so I just used the Hercules to fly around everywhere. Uh, the Vikings and the Wraiths, the Wraiths are such a poor unit. I, the, only reason, uh, the only time I used the Wraiths was actually on Engine of Destruction, which was a really hard mission for me for some reason. And 
um, these upgrades would have been actually really good on that mission, but I didn't use the rates at all in any other mission. So these upgrades are useless. Viking, uh, the, the ripwave missiles definitely look like a good upgrade here, but you don't really use Vikings for much, um, except if you obviously go uh, for all-in air version, then you're gonna want to get this upgrade and this upgrade. You're gonna want to upgrade this unit basically. Um, yeah, that's that's about it for that. And for the Dominion, uh, I actually got this 330 millimeter barrage cannon, but I didn't use the Thor at all. Again, I thought I'm going to be using the Thor in all-in to stun Kerrigan, but I wasn't. I didn't use a single Thor on that mission. So uh, this is definitely not very, a very good spending uh, of money here. I think this is like 110000 or something. It's pretty expensive. Uh, and this upgrade here, if you plan to use Thors on Kerrigan, uh, this upgrade is actually pretty useless because Kerrigan will basically... You, you can't you can't uh, rebuild your Thor after she kills it so this isn't that good <laughs> this upgrade uh, unless you're gonna be using Thors throughout other missions this is probably not that not that good at all and it also costs um, it also costs mineral or gas or minerals or something to use this so not that good as you can see here I got the specter um, I would, if you, uh, there's a strategy that you can use on All In where you just build a bunch of Spectres or Snipers and you just use this to kill Kerrigan. Uh, it's 200 damage and it ignores armor and it's it's really strong. Um, if you have 10 Spectres, you can kill Kerrigan easily uh, with them. So, but it's up to you. You, you have, There's different ways of killing Kerrigan. So if you're going to go this route, I would definitely recommend that you get the Sayana Clash. Um, and you can also get this, obviously, uh, cloak without using en energy sounds pretty good. So, uh, yeah, so that's that uh, for tech. And now we'll go to the lab and see what we have here.